We're going to do a little comparison here with an Eagle Knox 800 and that Nocta Macro Legend. Now, this is just an observation I see in this video, but people, the Eagle Knox users looking at this video and the Legend users may find this information beneficial. There is a difference in these machines, and we're going to look at this one nail right here, okay? Okay. And what we're going to look at in here is I'm going to go through all these detect modes, okay? Just to save time in this video. All these detect modes are going to be set to lowest iron bias, okay? F20. Okay? Every single one of them. Except we won't look at the beach modes, okay? We will look at prospecting, though. Okay, so they're all at F20. Okay, now I'm going to mash the horseshoe button on this machine. We're going back to Park 1. Okay? Now, you can, maybe you can see this meter in here. I'm going to call it out now. Minus 2 on that nail. That's in the Ferris range. Okay? The mine lab manual says 0 through minus 9 is the Ferris range. I just went and looked at the Equinox manual on mine lab site. Park 2. So we get some zeros and minus ones. Feel one. Minus one, minus two. Okay, feel two. Zero, minus one. Okay, prospecting one. We get zeros and minus ones on that nail. Prospecting two. Zeros and minus one. So at no time with the lowest iron bias sitting in this machine did we see this machine read in the non-ferrous range, okay? We're going to turn this machine on. We're going to turn on the old legend. Now again, what I'm going to do on this machine is I'm going to run all of the modes... Parking field and prospecting. I guess I need to go over here and fix it up. Lowest iron filter set. Iron filter one, stability one. Okay. Same goes with the park mode. Okay. Same goes with the field mode. You see them there. No tricks, boys. Okay. Now, I'm also going to turn on all metal. That gets it all in there, just like the old horseshoe button on that Equinox over there. Okay, so we'll go back first to park. Okay. M1. So we get a 10. That's the top of the non -fer uh, ferrous range, according to the manual for this machine. M2. Uh-oh, look at there. We're in the non-ferrous range there, ain't we? M3. Again, we're in the non-ferrous range. It's reading 11, okay? Now we're going over here to field. M1. Okay, we're at the very top of the ferrous range, which is 10 and M1, M2 in field. Uh-oh, we're back in the non-ferrous range with an 11 at M2, M3. Same with M3. We're back in the non-ferrous range with an 11. Okay, now we're going to go over here to prospecting, and I'm going to be honest with you, I've never checked this prospecting mode here. Now, prospecting, we only have basically a multi and then single freeze. We're not looking at that. So here's prospecting and multi. Uh-oh, we're back in the non-ferrous range again at 11. Now, you all can make up your own minds what that would suggest, okay? But again, you know, that's... I'll go ahead and open the screen up. There's, we're in prospecting mode. Speed 5, iron filter 1, ST1, okay? You see what we got there. So the Equinox never does report that nail in the non-ferrous range. According to the manual set by the manufacturer, this machine does. In certain multi-frequency configurations, depending on what mode you're in, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video.